Okay, so welcome to Beijing on this sunny Saturday afternoon. I'm just gonna don a bit of a coffee here because it's minus nine outside. I'm also gonna bring with me an apple, but see you outside very soon. Yeah, so I'm out here in the street now in Beijing walking and I always see these interesting things like in the background. You can actually buy a lot of like newspapers and magazines. I always wonder who is doing that these days. Or maybe it's only me or strange. But anyway, I'm walking to this park now, Chaya Park, the Sun Park, I think it's called in English. Normally, I don't actually go running that much. Lately, I've been doing a lot of walking instead, like 10,000 steps a day, aiming at that. And maybe walking to work or you know, back from work every day. But actually, I used to run a lot for, for most of my life, especially if you live so you can just kind of run out in the nature. Very nice. Oh, and the sun is here now. So here in Beijing, it's a lot of big buildings around so you have to kind of go to a park to, to run of course you can run in the streets as well I actually used to do that a lot in Shanghai and that's actually where I got these clothes that I'm wearing right now it's quite cold outside so you have to have wear you have to wear warm things I'm just gonna take this off once I get to the park and go running but basically of course uh, walking is, is a good way to burn calories but running is a lot faster of course if you have a shorter time it's also probably a better idea to actually go for a run instead of walking but the thing is you get quite tired so I haven't really been running a lot lately but with the new year around the corner and the holidays coming up and also you know 2022 uh, I'm turning 35 and my goal is to be in the best shape for my life physically uh, you know mentally uh, financially and so on so I think I'm gonna start doing cardio like running twice a week at least we'll see so I'm gonna bring you guys along and show you some of the interesting background this really weird building up here i'm gonna show you then we're gonna go to the park so this is the park we're going to chaiyang park and we have this kind of interesting building in the background here i call it kind of the batman building over there that black one we also have the lucky street here that sounds promising let's go yeah you can definitely see that it's cold here it's frozen here in the river so i'm just gonna go entrance is around the corner next to the subway stop and then we'll go in hope so it's a little bit sunny in there yeah this park is quite popular there's a lot of kids around quite nice background here as well i'm gonna have that apple now it's around you know 80 to 120 calories maybe 20 25 grams of carbs and i've actually eaten roughly 1600 calories so far today actually uh, a lot more carbs than normal like bread and things like that but it's uh, i think 3 or 4 p.m right now so I actually have a lot of energy, but I'm gonna get a little bit of a boost from that sugar and go for the run. But first we're gonna take this off. Ah, I'm already feeling better from that apple and the sunshine doesn't make it worse. Quite inspired actually to go for that run and I get rid of the jacket. So as mentioned, I had roughly 1600 calories so far today and I think the goal will be 2200 or 2400 but actually since i'm going for this run i probably have a lot more room to actually eat but i want to lose some weight so now we're just at the starting point here i'm gonna go for five kilometers so really hope but it's gonna be a nice run i will see you later after okay so i made it back and actually 5.16 kilometers at least according to this five minutes 20 seconds per kilometer 27 minutes and 31 seconds so feeling quite okay with that definitely can improve of course but i haven't been running in a few months so yeah it feels nice i hope i can do that twice or three times a week but i'm gonna put on my jacket so i don't get cold and then get back and then make some air fried pumpkins and shrimp something that i almost forgot is how nice it feels after a good run you get this um, runner's high with the endorphins kicking in and then adrenaline so you really feel like kind of energized after so i definitely you know know why i used to do this in the morning it's actually getting up early so i think i will try to incorporate this more i just you know felt it kicking in after that last clip so feeling really good then i'm gonna go back down and make some food oh, very nice on the way you're walking back selling some mulled wine in the street here really nice some christmas vibes for sure it's pretty cool background here as well with the sunset but none of that for me i'm gonna go back and eat a bit healthy instead okay so now we're back here slightly warmer inside it was quite cold outside i'm gonna use half of this small pumpkin here that i get as a leftover from yesterday put in the air fryer and i'm also gonna have some shrimp here shrimp is actually super protein rich so basically i think only protein powder has more protein per 100 gram it's basically like 
just protein swimming around in the sea. Uh, so I'm gonna put those in there. It's gonna take 25 minutes and I don't like to waste time. So I do that, then I'm gonna have a shower and then I'm gonna enjoy the dinner. Okay, so 25 minutes has passed and the shrimp is ready. Wow, and that is looking pretty amazing. Whew, I am looking forward to trying this. Nice, okay, let's serve it. Also for some bonus volume, I'm gonna add in some pickles actually and some Korean kimchi or I think it's pickled white radish actually. And of course the staple kimchi, so more volume but basically almost no carbs, so very nice. Just as kind of a side note here, I got in actually 7,700 steps today. So that's what I try to normally do on the weekends, walk a lot. So even if I get only like 10K on the weekdays, at least between 50 to 20 or maybe in 25 on the weekends. That's how I stay active and can eat a lot of nice food. Okay, so finally the reward after all that exercise. So let's dig in and try out the shrimp. It looks really crunchy. And if you wonder about the sound in the background, that's my washing machine. But let's see. Mmm, nice. Mmm, very crunchy. And it's uh, a bit spicy also. I added the mala, which is kind of a Chinese spice. But of course you can add other things if you want. I have like sriracha spicy sauce here. Uh, very low in calories. Ketchup with no added sugar. Uh, more calories a bit. Um, and of course, if you really want to go crazy, you can add kind of sesame sauce or something a bit more fatty. Um, we have to be very careful. I mean, just adding sort of 10 grams of this could add almost like 67, 80 calorie, calories, which is almost the same as all the pumpkin together. So I'm gonna put the total calories and protein and fats and carbs here on the screen. But basically, this is a very low calorie but filling meal. But still, all the shrimp has a lot of proteins, so it's very good. So that's how I diet and kind of enjoy it at the same time and uh, definitely was a very nice day so if you want to see more of this kind of things you know tips and how i just live my life and try to stay healthy you know despite being in my mid 30s uh, let me know and uh, comment if you have questions about you know living here in Beijing or anything like that otherwise you know like subscribe and see you in the next video